Good evening and welcome to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen meeting for May 7th, 2019. It is 7 o'clock. We do have a quorum. The prayer will be by myself and the Pledge of Allegiance will be by Vice Mayor Brown. If everyone would please stand for the prayer and the pledge. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we just ask that you would bless our city and put your hand upon it, that you would heal rifts, that you would open the hearts of many, and that your will would be done throughout our city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moving on to the order of business, approval of the minutes for the April 2nd, 2019 regular meeting. Need a motion to approve? I make a motion we approve. A motion to approve. Need a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Presentations. Let's hop over here. So these young ladies recently uh, were awarded the Bronze Star, which is one of the, the highest awards that, as Girl Scouts, that they can receive. Um, these young ladies, of course, are setting an example throughout our community, and that's something that I feel we should celebrate throughout our city. So to recognize this, and I'm going to give each one of you yours, but I'm going to read one of these. Yours. I'm going to read yours because they all say the same thing, but the City of Laverne Certificate of Recognition is hereby granted to you lovely ladies in recognition of your achievement of being awarded Bronze Award, being the highest award a Girl Scout Junior can achieve, focusing on an anti-bully campaign with your fellow Scouts in Troop 1006. Congratulations, ladies. Can we give them a round of applause? Moving on to department reports, fire department. Mayor, vice mayor, board of aldermen. Uh, the month of April, we had 257 calls. Uh, we used approximately 10,300 gallons. Now that water usage, not primarily on those structure fires or the other vehicle fires, but we also had an engineer um, qualifications and we utilize quite a bit of water in the park to exercise their knowledge skill and ability any questions you just recently promoted an officer with your life safety we did um, under the uh, restructuring plan we uh, initiated a life safety officer which we're very blessed with and um, our new life safety officer will be lieutenant Alan McCormick I talked to Chief Clark and he said that uh, Alan is graciously going to take uh, former Chief McCormick's office. So. I like that. So we're, we're blessed to have him. Uh, we're excited for him to come in and uh, he'll get busy and he'll be uh, under the fire marshal's office and we look forward to him interacting with the community. and making this place a little bit safer. 
Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Moving on to Police Department, Chief Walker. As late as about 45 minutes ago, I was still trying to get the Tiber's data for April, and it's still not available, so that's not there. But I can talk about our calls for service. And I used this chart uh, to show you the change we have for the month of April, and it's not aptal. Uh, I missed that one. It must have been cross-eyed at the time when I looked at it. But the, the April numbers are up over last year 20%. Uh, the calendar year to date, January through April, are up 29.6%. And then the fiscal year to date, July through April, is up 18.7% over the 17-18 period of time. Glenn. This is a fairly large one. Hopefully you can see it on your iPads a little better, but that gives you an idea of the changes we have had uh, by hour, day, uh, day of week, and it gives you an idea all across the board by hour, of day, the changes we've had. And you see some of those are somewhat uh, drastic when you see that they're 40, 50 percent increase. So people are out at different times of day and night now than what they were a year ago for uh, the calendar year to date. Next one. And that just gives you an idea of. Uh, the changes that we've had across the board of the 24-hour day to see where we were with the blue being last year and the red being this year. One of the things that I do want to remind you is the 17th is a week from Friday. Carry the load is coming back, and they should be coming into the city sometime between 4, probably between 4 and 4.30, I would say. They'll be leaving uh, from in front of the old Kmart, we'll call it, Stars and Strikes. They have uh, made a stop there every year, and, and then they come to us and usually stop here, and then the last couple of years they've gone to Nashville. They love Laverne, and they want to get back to the roots, they said. They don't want to go to the big city. They want to be here in our community. So they will stop, and we'll have uh, some time with them here this year a little more than we had before. So tell everybody you know. And the other thing I want to tell you, at Laverne TNPD is our new Twitter call sign for Laverne Police Department. And thank you to Ann a lot. Um, I tweet, Bob Hayes didn't, but Bob's learning very quickly. And uh, we'll be posting things of police department importance, and we've got a couple of things already out there, but uh, our Facebook account will be coming fairly shortly, soon, we hope. Uh, we're not going to, we're not going to open it totally up because it's not going to be a communication page except to communicate important things. If folks want to talk, they need to come to me and talk or call or send an email and ask and we'll use that. We're not going to use Facebook for those kinds of things, but uh, unless it's short, sweet, and simple, we can do. Because we don't have anybody who can sit there and do it all day long, every day. Uh, everybody's working and got plenty to do. Um, and then Ann is working with us too. We're gonna do some, some pretty good significant changes on our webpage as well. So we'll be throwing some things out there as we go and keeping it up to date too, hopefully. Any questions? Chief, can you speak to um, the event this Friday down at the Legislative Plaza with police? The Fraternal Order, State Fraternal Order of Police Memorial Service will be at 9 a.m. at Legislative Plaza. They're outside the War Memorial Building. And it's held annually. And there will be uh, some addition to the wall again this year as every year and uh, I guess it's kind of it's kind of difficult there was a young man in West Tennessee yesterday from the agency I retired from after a third of a century that was killed um, so we're kind of anxious to see when those events are going to be in West Tennessee 
hopefully not Friday. But next week, I will tell you this, it is National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Week, and that's when they'll have the memorial on the 15th every year. They have it 15th, no matter when in the week it falls. And uh, we'll have some folks that will be there helping with our Middle and East Tennessee uh, Concerns of Police Survivors uh, group, which are the survivors of the law enforcement officers that uh, make the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. Any questions? Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Randolph is still out, I believe, with codes. Parks and Recreation Department, David McGowan. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Board, thank you. You've got the uh, numbers in front of you for the month of April. Um, we're going to skip past the numbers real quick, the figures, the monetary figures, and come back to them. Past events, Easter egg hunt. Um, this year we tried something different with the fire department. Want to give a big thanks to those guys. We made it, uh, extended the Easter egg hunt out. They had inflatables, provided hot dogs to all the kids. So that was a pretty good turnout considering the weather. Tried not to cooperate with us that well. Um, another past event, baseball, softball, opening day ceremony, um, senior, year, senior center yard sale. We're going to come back to that also. That was a pretty good size event. Um, upcoming events, May the 7th, which was today, the open house at the bridge. Um, I think that was a meet and greet with the mayor and fire chief, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, May 31st, senior prom. Upcoming events, May 16th, senior advisory committee at 4 p.m. May 20th, parks advisory committee at 6 p.m. Um, just going to give a few thank yous real quick. First, we want to thank the board, Mayor and Alderman, for you guys helping us and all, all your support in any event we do. Um, we want to thank the fire department, uh, Fire Explorers, Box 100, for all the help at the Easter egg hunt. That was huge. Um, league play opening day. I want to thank Michael Davis with the Tennessee Strikers, Alderman No for all your help, and the Parks and Rec Advisory Committee, Sage Coble for singing the national anthem. And then we're going to get back to the Senior Yard Center. Uh, senior center yard sale. There were over 30 vendors there. I think the center made well over $5,000. Great turnout. Um, thanks to Box 100 for their assistance. I'll know for your efforts for the silent auction. Um, I do want to acknowledge several people. The senior center, Melissa Cooper, who ended Tomlin, and I want to throw Webb in there. Webb came down all day Saturday and helped out. On the park side, Felicia Mays, Kathy Melindy, and these guys I'm going to name off, just want to take a second, won't take long. Um, you probably see their faces, but you may not know their names. Derek Edgens, Brandon James, Justin Gosnell, Branson Childress, Nathan Winters, and our new guy, T.J. Welch. They're the backbone of the department. Everything, everything that you see happen, they make happen. Any questions? No questions, but 100% agree with everything you said about the yard sale. We could not have done it without all those peoples and, and uh, everybody was working. Yeah, it was a good turnout. And the figure you see there, the 5,500, that's probably not accurate. That's probably a little low. I think some of the payment, uh, some of the payment for the silent auction items came in after this deadline. So that money will be rolled over into next month's figure. And that's probably anywhere, I think $450, $500, somewhere in that area. So we, we just add that to next month. And we didn't have not one, not one item, teacup, trinket, whatnot, dude, that had nothing left. Well, it was a good turnout, and I know um, Greg is here with Inframark. I'm almost positive they donated everything that they made back to the center. They did. So I can, it was a good turnout, and like I said, without, without y'all's help and support, we could pull none of it off, so... And our, our chime in here with, um, with the Easter egg hunt, as Alderman Noe and Alderman Jones can test to, even with the weather, uh, with the prospects of rain, great turnout. People were excited about the inflatables, the hot dogs, the uh, smoke room to be able to go through and see those demonstrations. We had the explorers out there helping. I mean, it, w it was great for everybody. Yeah, I think the... We probably had more kids at one time in the past, but as far as a just general <coughs> good atmosphere, including the fire hall with the inflatables, it just added a little something extra. So hopefully we can take that in any future event kind of build on. Thank 
Thank other you. questions? Thank you. Finance. Thank you, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Alderman. I just want to, first of all, before we start the report, this report should have been dated March. Yeah. The date on there is incorrect, so we are into nine months into our fiscal year. Um, in the general fund, the revenues have exceeded expenditures of approximately $3.5 million. In our local sales tax, we've collected approximately $2.2 million, better than what uh, we budgeted at this time, and we've collected $610,000 better than what we did at this time last year. State Street A, revenues have exceeded expenditures of approximately $32,000. Stormwater revenues have exceeded expenditures of approximately $104,000. And in our water sewer fund, revenues have exceeded expenditures by approximately $2.1 million. Second page is our balances in our various bank accounts. And the third page is comparison to prior year. In the general fund, revenues are up approximately $886,000. Expenses are up approximately $1.1. In the water sewer fund, revenues are up approximately $55,000. And expenses are up approximately $281. TAP fees are also up approximately 276000 Any questions? Thank you, ma'am. Moving on to the library. Ms. Donna? <clears throat> Mayor, Vice Mayor Alderman, good evening. For the month of April, the attendance in the library was 6,258, with an average per day of 272. We issued 77 new library cards. We circulated 4,913 <coughs> items. There were 2,343 computer users. We had 57 programs with an attendance of 801, and our out outreach was 110. I'd like to start at the bottom of the right-hand side. Uh, beginning June the 10th at 6 p.m., we're going to start having a program. It's going to be each Monday, the second Monday of each month, and it's Medical Mondays with Dr. Swansea. Uh, he, of course, has been a doctor here in Laverne for quite a while. Uh, we did this a while back, uh, several years ago, and we're ready to start up again. His first talk is going to be on blood pressure. So we're looking forward to that. It's going to coincide with the beginning of our summer reading. Another great program that the library is happy to provide a space for is Chapter Chatter Book Club. And this book club is hosted by Ms. Lynn Smith. It's going to start on May 13th, that's a Monday, at 6.30 p.m. at our library. And this month's book is going to be Becoming by Michelle Obama. And of course, we ask you to borrow a book, audio book or ebook, and come for a discussion. I believe at this point, all of our hardcovers have already been checked out, but I think we do still have the audio book and the ebook available. All right, moving up to summer reading, all the way at the very top, A Universe of Stories. This is starting our summer reading 2019 that's going to begin on June the 1st and go through July 20th, and it's programs for all ages. Now, we invite you all to join us for the summer reading blast-off. I regret to say that our astronaut did not make it tonight, but we do have someone who's going to be at summer reading at the, uh, the blast-off here. You know they're heroes of all sorts. Give me just a moment here. <laughs> I would say I'm doing a costume change, but I'm not changing, I'm just adding. Here we go, let's see. Over and down. All right. How's the cake look back there, guys? Pretty good? All right, so we have to have the cake going on. All right, so we want you to come to the library on June the 1st. It's a universe of heroes. It's going to be from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. We're going to have a lot of heroes out there, superheroes and heroes throughout our community. So we invite all of you to come. There's going to be games, inflatables, face painting, superheroes, prizes, and a costume contest. So we invite you to come out, be a part of it, sign up for summer reading. I just wanted to let you know that I am called a library director 
but only because Wonder Woman is not an official title. <laughs> so do you have any questions? No, no questions. None after that? <laughs> Wonderful about the book club. That, that, that came up from the community, and it's great to see. Yeah, I seen that. That was good. Yes, Did we're you, excited uh, about that. I seen you uh, got a new sign there. Oh, yes, yes. I forgot. I wrote that at the very top. We have a sign. Thank you very much. Uh, how many of you have driven by and seen our beautiful sign? Hands up, everyone. Yes. Yay. We're so excited. It looks absolutely beautiful. We're going to be able to promote all of these great, great programs. And thank you to the board for helping make that happen. And thank you to David for working hard with Jarvis Signs. Uh, they have really done well. Glenn and myself and Debbie are going to meet tomorrow, and we're going to train on how to put all those great uh, sayings and events up there. So start watching the sun. Wonderful. Thank you, Wonder Woman. Thank you. Good job, Wonder Woman. Water treatment plan. Greg? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a change in the rotation, please? <laughs> wow. Greg, we want to see a cake. Next time. <laughs> All right. In, in April, the water plant treated 107.303 million gallons of water. That's an average of 3.577 million gallons a day. Uh, we delivered nine, uh, excuse me, 91.049 million gallons of water to the citizens of Laverne. That's an average flow of 3.035 uh, million gallons per day. In the month of April, we collected 42 uh, bacteriological samples, with all of them coming back negative, which means they passed. In April, our TOC removal was 53.9%. The requirement was 15. This is 3.6 times better than the actual requirement. With the finished TOC being under a 1.0 milligrams per liter for the third consecutive month in a row. A few maintenance items that we did in April, we replaced the six inch check valve on the Paul unit, installed a new backwash recovery pump for the Paul unit. Uh, we painted the floors on the new side of the plant. Good. We will be working on the old side sometime in the next couple weeks. Uh, and all preventative maintenance work was done on the equipment. We did flush some dead ends in the system in April, and we will be starting the unidirectional flushing program in just a couple weeks. Uh, there will be some news coming out for the residents so that they understand what we're gonna be doing and why, and some things that they could see. Uh, so that stuff is coming out. Uh, we are bringing in a resource outside of Laverne to help start that program off at no additional cost to the citizens of Laverne. Uh, in April, we had six pressure complaints. All of them had sufficient pressure coming into their home. We believed it to be an internal plumbing issue. We did have three water, water quality complaints. One was due because the customer wasn't used to having chlorine, a chlorine residual at their home. And that's just part of when we started cycling the tanks more, we're getting fresher water to the citizens. It was not a high chlorine residual <coughs> we did check. Uh, one of them, one of them was a rotten egg smell. After investigation, it actually was something from their hot water heater, sulfur in their hot water heater. Um, once we got to talking to them, we figured out what it was. One of them, the last one, the third one, was calcium buildup. And this one took a little bit of investigating. We figured out it was actually coming from their hot water heater as well, um, even though it was showing up in other places that really wouldn't have your hot water heater you know, show up where it wouldn't go to. It was because it was getting in the lines of a heavy concentration, and that's what it was. Uh, we're still waiting to hear back from the citizen if, if that issue's been resolved with that, but we believe that's what it was from. Any questions? Yes, uh, raw water pump one. Are we still on schedule for end of May? Um, to last I heard, it was supposed to be eight, uh, May 20th or 21st. I can't remember the day. Yes, it's still on schedule. Wonderful. Any more questions? No questions, but as David said a while ago, I personally wanted to thank you for the uh, senior citizens' donations. I know you guys uh, worked hard down there that day, made money. They started their day out right off the bat by donating a stationary bicycle just right then, and then at the end of the day, they brought all their funds that they made and donated. So we appreciate that. And we're looking forward to the next one. 
Thank you. Thank you all. Public Works. This, good afternoon, Mayor and Alderman, Vice Mayor. This is for the month of April. We had a total of 63 requests for brush pickup with 652 with 141,000 pounds, 480 hours of workhouse with uh, 152 work orders. And the fleet department, we had 39 uh, repairs, 36 in-house, uh, three was outsourced. Uh, 19 preventive maintenance. Uh, fire department, we had six repairs with a total of 15 and a half hours of, uh, to work on. Any questions? Thank you, sir. Moving on, utility department. Mayor Alderman, good afternoon. Uh, for the month of April, you have your report there in front of you for your review. <coughs> Uh, pretty consistent with most months. I want to touch base on the leak survey that we performed the last two months with the outside consultant, Richards Leaks Management. Uh, we started a survey in 2017, which 59 leaks were located. 2018, he came back, 38 leaks were found. This year, we're down to 35 leaks, so you can show how we're progressing. Uh, total or estimated volume of water that was lost on leaks for the month of April was 394,680 gallons. Uh, the difference of 64,090 was due to new lines, pressure washing, street sweeper, some fire department training, et cetera. Uh, look at that number, 458,770 gallons. It's a big number, but as Greg just reported, we're sending out 90 million gallons a month to the customer. So kind of a drop in the bucket, in my, opinion, my opinion. Uh, however, a lot of these leaks would have went undetected without performing the leak detection. So we could have went months, even years. I mean, I applaud my guys and they are really good at what they do. However, they don't have 30 years of experience. So uh, I think it's important that we continue to do this survey on an annual basis. Uh, and again, want to recognize the guys in the water department. Uh, they, they bought into what we're, what we're doing here. They got all these leaks repaired. They've been completed and they stayed right behind him as we went through the leak detection process. Any, Any questions? questions? Good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mayor. Stormwater Department. Madam? Uh, good evening, Mayor, Board Alderman. In the month of, excuse me, not really month, from March 16th to April 15th, we received 22 phone calls, resulted in seven work orders. In that time, we closed two of those work orders. Two of those work orders were in progress at the time of this report. Uh, all days were work days, rain days were fairly <coughs> minimal. Did do quite a bit of preventive maintenance around the uh, city, quite a lot of culvert washing, that type of thing. Our, uh, the new gentleman that came over from Public Works has literally worn the brushes off our sweeper twice. <laughs> so uh, I think he's done a great job there. Absolutely. Or either, either there he's not doing it right, but I think he's done a great job. Uh, major projects to Pulled out an old culvert at the end of Blakemore that was causing some backups in that area. That wasn't necessarily a, wasn't one of our work order type items, but it was impeding the flow of water. So we pulled that out and they should see some improvements there. Uh, additionally, which wasn't, wouldn't be covered in this report, we did our uh, keep, uh, think Green Laverne, uh, stormwater cleanup event at the Greenway. The mayor attended, of course. Uh, my stormwater engineer, Catherine, did a great job putting that together. Had a, had a great attendance, I think. I don't know if it's the best ever, but I think it's the best that anybody could recall with 109 people coming out. Uh, Bob's Barbecue did a great job feeding everybody and was very supportive of us. Uh, we were able to give away two uh, rainwater barrels, collection systems. Uh, Catherine did a workshop on uh, rain gardens, and we planted rain gardens at both ends of the greenway, so you can kind of see those in action. And um, other than that, typical maintenance work. Questions? Uh, I'll, I'll piggyback what you, on what you said with um, the Greenway cleanup. 109 people, that's the largest I've seen. Comcast Cares really stepped up and brought their team. And then there was a lot of the community just out there to clean up, whether it was the Boy Scouts, some Girl Scouts, just regular citizens concerned about the environment. And we're pulling everything from cans to wheelbarrows to tires. 
So it's, it's good to see that cleaned up some. It was good to see that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Human resources. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Alderman. Here is the report for human resources. We had four external jobs posted with 227 applicants, two actual new hires, two internal jobs were posted with four applicants, and we promoted one employee. There were actually two employee resignations with one termination, one workers' compensation claim, three liability claims, 82 care here appointments, there were two no-shows, total enrollment for the month, 405 members, eight care here HR, uh, HRAs were conducted, one short-term disability claim for grand total claim dollar amount of 279,152. Are there any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to old business. Motion to approve an agreement with Mason Holdings South PG LLC regarding the Bain Drive Improvements State Industrial Access Program State Contract Number 190072. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? I second. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman Church? Aye. Alderman No? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. I vote aye. Motion passes. Moving on to the consent agenda. Need a motion to approve or deny? Need a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. I second. Alderman Church? Aye. Alderman No? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. And I vote aye. Consent agenda passes. Moving on to new business. First reading ordinance 2019. Dash 08 in ordinance to amend Title 14, Chapter 5 of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding the membership of the Board of Zoning Appeals. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Alderman Church? No. Alderman No? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. And I vote aye. Ordinance passes first reading. Moving on to number seven, first reading ordinance 2019-09, an ordinance to amend title 14, chapter eight, section 14-802 of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding membership of the Stormwater Appeals and Advisory Board. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? A second. I have a second. Alderman Church? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman No? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. And I vote aye, motion passes. First reading, Ordinance 2019-10, an ordinance to amend Title III, Chapter 3, III, Section 3-306 of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding court costs. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? A second. Alderman Jones? Aye. Alderman No? Aye. Alderman Church? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. And I vote aye. Motion passes, or ordinance passes. First reading, Ordinance 2019-11, an ordinance to amend Title VIII, Chapter 3, Section 8-310 of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding the application for an issuance or refusal of a beer permit. This received a favorable recommendation from the Beer Board on April 18, 2019. Need a motion to approve or deny? I make a motion for discussion. We have to have a motion and a second before there can be discussion. Thank you. I'll make a motion to approve. I second for discussion. Okay. If you could just explain this a little bit to me. I'm a little confused with what the, what they've, um, I guess what the beer board is recommending. So this pulls the food ratio out of the ordinance. Well, it used to be like 60, 40, and now it's just zero. Is that what this does? It's not zero. It basically defaults to the state. Is that right, Bruce? Well, on, on beer, no, it, there would not be any That's ratio requirement for beer. Liquor by the drink is a little different because the state issues those permits. Uh, but for beer, uh, currently there's a 60% food sale ratio. You have to sell at least 60% food to get a beer permit and keep a beer permit. So this removes that requirement entirely. So just on beer, it'll be zero, but liquor, it'll be 
60-40 still or well, whatever the state? We're, we're going to come back with an ordinance, hopefully at the next meeting, to deal with liquor by the drink, uh, which would also deal with the ratio requirements there. The state does things differently when it comes to, to liquor. They actually have two different types of permits. One is a limited service restaurant, which is basically for anybody that serves less than 50 percent food to, to beer or food to alcohol. And then a regular restaurant permit is basically over 50 percent. So they have their own ratio requirements depending on what type of permit you're going to have. Okay. Would this change the 21 and up procedures also? No, yeah. this has nothing to do with that. And the, the reporting on this was self-reporting with the businesses. Correct. So we just, uh, ultimately, there was really not a lot of oversight. It, they just, they would report it. Thank you. Alderman Jones. Aye. Alderman Church. Aye. Alderman No. Yes. Vice Mayor Brown. Aye. I vote aye. Motion passes. Number 10, first reading ordinance 2019-12, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2018-2019 general fund budget. In a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second. Second. Alderman Church. Aye. Alderman No. Aye. Alderman Jones. Aye. Vice Mayor Brown. Aye. And I vote aye. Passes first reading. First reading ordinance 2019-13, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2018-2019 general fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Alderman Church? No. Alderman No? Yes. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. I vote aye. First reading ordinance 2019-14, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2018-2019 stormwater fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Alderman Church? Aye. Alderman No? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. And I vote aye. First reading ordinance 2019-15, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2018-2019 water and sewer fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Alderman Church? No. Alderman No? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. And I vote aye. First reading ordinance 2019-16, an ordinance of the City of Laverne, Tennessee, adopting the annual budget and tax rate for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020. 20. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to deny. I have a motion to deny. Need a second. Second. Alderman Church? No. Alderman, no. Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. And I vote no. First reading fails. Moving on. First reading ordinance 2019-17, an ordinance to amend the Laverne Municipal Zoning Ordinance as pertains to the overlay district. Received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on April 30th, 2019. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? A second for discussion. Okay. Just a, a few questions. This is what the Planning Commission, what we passed this last meeting? Yes. And this is for the overlay district? Yes. My question, without changing all this, is it possible that we, instead of restricting small businesses from coming to Laverne in certain areas, is there a way that we can beautify Murfreesboro Road with, with the, the businesses? Can we? give them the restrictions that they have to have a brick front or they have to modernize the building. Is that possible instead of restricting them in the area? Well, this doesn't restrict them in the area. This is with regards to auto exemption for businesses that um, basically have a change of service. I mean, that's, that's what my concern was. I mean, so the current, the current way there's an auto exemption that doesn't come before the board, okay. before the planning commission and 
um, that basically allows some businesses to not that are in the overlay district to not follow those guidelines. So this would remove that auto exemption and require them to be compliant with the overlay district guidelines. So any business prior to today would be able to do that. They would. Well, any once we we if we pass this. Um, if this was to pass, yes. Then basically that auto exemption will be removed. So then they would have to comply with that going forward. Okay. All right, thank you. So we have a motion to approve in a second. Alderman Jones. <clears throat> Alderman Church. No. Alderman No. Yes. Vice Mayor Brown. Aye. And I vote aye. Moving on to number 16, first reading ordinance 2019-18, an ordinance to amend the Laverne Municipal Zoning Ordinance as it pertains to signs. This also received a favorable recommendation, recommendation from the Planning Commission on April 30th, 2019. Need a motion to approve or deny? I make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Alderman Church? Aye. Alderman No? Aye. Alderman Jones? Aye. Vice Mayor Brown? Aye. And I vote aye. First reading ordinance 2019-19, an ordinance to amend the Laverne Municipal Zoning Ordinance to remove auto repair from commercial zoning districts. This also received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on April 30th, 2019. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? A second for discussion. Okay, open this up for discussion. Again, this is something similar um, to my question on the other. Is this something that we can, instead of restricting small businesses to be in the overlay district, is this something that we can add to our rules, regulations, or, or even our existing codes to allow them to be in the overlay district, but they have to make the proper investment? This isn't, uh, this doesn't pertain specifically to the overlay okay. district. This is citywide. Okay. So where, where exactly would an automobile, automobile repair center be able to be put in any industrial zone so it removes them uh, they can no longer be on Murfreesboro Road or Waldron Road in the commercial districts in commercial districts no if it's if the property is zoned industrial they would be able to, to go there regardless of whether it's Murfreesboro Road Waldron Road Old Nashville Highway wherever that that zoning is they would be able to okay thank you I ask you I want to make sure I'm clear on this this is not removing what's already there but right. anything going forward correct the older ones will be grandfathered per right. se yes okay. sir I got you Alderman Jones aye Alderman Church no Alderman no aye Vice Mayor Brown aye and I vote aye resolution 2019-11 a resolution to write off uncollectible property tax accounts and this amount was seven thousand four hundred seventy three dollars need a motion to approve or deny make a motion to approve I have a motion to approve need a second second, second. alderman church aye alderman no aye alderman jones aye vice mayor brown aye and i vote aye resolution 2019-12 a resolution to retain and appoint a city attorney for the purposes of fulfillment of the mandate and requirements of resolution 2019-07 TCA 8-47-101 uh, and as otherwise required by law. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second? Second. Alderman Church. I need to recuse myself from this vote. Alderman No. No. Alderman Jones. Aye. Vice Mayor Brown. Aye. And I vote aye. Resolution passes. Motion to approve a real estate contract for the purchase of real property along Stones River Road and East near Shribman Boulevard, described as tax map 14, parcel five, consisting of approximately 4.5 acres, tax map 14, parcel 5.02, consisting of approximately 16.8 acres, and tax map 14, parcel 14.03, consisting of approximately 2.43 acres. Need a motion to approve or deny? Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve. Need a second. Second for discussion. Okay. Open it up for discussion. Uh, maybe it's not a discussion. I'm sorry. I wanted to see if, we, if I could get uh, the vice mayor to 
make the motion pending the approval of the draft. I thought that, that was that the there. second property or this property? I thought it was both. You know, it's probably not a bad idea to do both. It's it's possible that in in the finalization of these contracts, that language has to be tweaked and changed. Uh, you know, for example, notice of address. At the time the draft was completed, I didn't have an address for the uh, seller. So, and then I think if you go down to like Exhibit A, the exhibit to the real estate sales contract, we still need to include the legal description on that. Okay. So. Um, Obviously, it's up to the board what you want to do. I think as long as you approve the purchase price, I mean, the city's going to pay X dollars to buy this real estate, I mean, buying the real estate for this price, and then um, allow the contract to the extent there needs to be changes in the language uh, upon approval of the mayor and the city attorney if you want to do that. If it, if it is okay with the board, I'd like to amend my motion to um a motion to approve with the contingency that the mayor and the and the evan cope that our city attorney can make the adjustments to the contract according to what he just said i'll second that okay <laughs> okay alderman church no alderman no no alderman jones aye vice mayor brown aye and i vote aye number 21 motion to approve real estate contracts for the purchase of real property along Stones River Road described as tax map 14 parcel 1 consisting of approximately 3.89 acres tax map 14 parcel 2 consisting of approximately 3.44 acres and tax map 14 parcel 3 consisting of approximately 14.22 acres need a motion to approve or deny make a motion to deny I have a motion to deny need a second a second okay Alderman Church Aye. Alderman No? Aye. Alderman Jones? No. Vice Mayor Brown? No. And I vote no. Motion fails. Make a motion to approve pending the finalization of the draft contract between the mayor and the city attorney. I have a motion. Need a second. A second. I make a second for discussion. Okay. Open it up for discussion. I'm just, again, a little confused on the purchase of the property with this much this much money that we're spending of the taxpayers funds without a plan on what the property is going to be used for still to date this board has no definite plan or, or at least this board's not telling other members of the board or the citizens what this property is going to be used for and I find that hard to believe if we're going to spend millions of dollars on uh, property purchase we should have some kind of foresee what the property is going to be used for if you could explain that to me as far as for the reason for buying property well there's it's we know that the city over time is going to need property we know that that throughout the community I mean you mentioned that uh, the planning retreat about expanding the police department behind us but of course those ball fields would have to be moved as they're part of a grant so we would have to have land to relocate them it, there's other things throughout the space needs assessment as far as growth there's other requests from the community Bob Simon over the years has requested for a community center we know you know boys and girls club has spoken about interest in the city there's all these different needs throughout the city and ultimately it's up to this board to decide what that use is and does this board have any future plans to sell existing properties located on Murfreesboro Road to make make it more possible for us to relocate buildings to this property we haven't spoken to anybody about that so we really don't know what we're going to use this property for right as you pointed out earlier we're just going to spend right now it's keeping it dollars. green so I mean if, if we purchase it and we do nothing with it at the very least it keeps it green which is something that many in the community have asked for um, I believe I saw one resident just post a uh, video where homes are being built right behind her property fence so um, I mean many people throughout the community ask for green space could be used for that again that's ultimately up to this board all right thank you okay have a motion to approve in a second Alderman Church no Alderman no no Alderman Jones aye Vice Mayor Brown aye and I vote aye moving on to 
number 22 we have a uh, motion to appoint or remove board and committee members we have the senior citizen advisory committee we have uh, four terms that have come up which is roger french michael gowling uh, tanisha simmons isabel williams and then we had commissioner joe Gurley resign and i spoke with commissioner wayne blair who is interested in filling that role um, so I would um, appoint and let the board um, approve or deny or confirm putting all of these applicants back on that board. Is there room for each of them? Yes. I'll make a motion that we well keep the keep the group that's on there. At this point, all we have to do is just vote on it. Oh, okay. um, with the way that our um, our municipal code is written, with this board, the mayor can appoint and the board confirms. Okay. So for confirming, putting those four or keeping those four on there, as well as adding Commissioner Wayne Blair to the uh, Rutherford County representative list, all in favor, say aye. 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 Is Mr. Blair, is he the one that took uh, Bill Lee's position once he moved up? Who did No, uh, that was Commissioner Turner who... Yeah, um, Brent. Okay. Brad Turner left that, oh, Brent. that yeah. commissionship, went to work for the state, and um commissioner blair was appointed to that position okay i knew there was something there i just didn't sure moving on to b economic development advisory committee um, we've got one request to remove danny jones from this board so i will make the motion to remove him from the board I need a second a second for discussion okay and the reasoning for removing mr jones was as discussed at the workshop as far as uh, conflicting interests with the city. Alderman Jones. Aye. Alderman Church. No. Alderman No. Aye. Vice Mayor Brown. No. And I vote aye. Passes. And we're at Mayor and Alderman comments. Alderman No. Well, I haven't really got a lot to talk about. Mr. McGowan took care of all of that, but uh, I just wanted to say thanks to everybody in our yard sale. The, the uh, Easter egg hunt was amazing. Uh, other than Mr. Jones teasing the kids that wouldn't say one, two, three, go, he would get to two and stop for a little anticipation, which was funny. It was good. Uh, I love the fact that we try to do things in the city that uh, helps with the camaraderie and stuff because we have people arguing and disagreeing and all they know is a name and if, i think if they'd spend a little time and try to uh, get out and meet people and this will be the first time right here you heard it first i done spoke with their attorney he's going to help me get it up and we want to start talking it up i'm going to talk with parks and rec but i would like to put together a all-female flag football powder puff game uh, it will be a good fundraiser uh, hopefully it'll get the community out. So if we, uh, if we, if you know some ladies, uh, they're going to have to be over 21. We're not going to have no real. Uh, I think I think Miss Mary Jane is volunteering right off the bat to sign up. Well, we was kind of hoping she might be uh, the uh, coach, and and I was going to talk to Chief Walker, Chief Clark, and Garland, and some of these other ones, and maybe. Uh, we can get some cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to put, I want to start putting the word out. I don't have a date. I don't have the cost and money and stuff. But Evan did tell me that he could put together something that everybody would sign that releases the city of all uh, issues. So I want to make that announcement first, and I'll get it started. Thank you, sir. Good job. Alderman Church. Yes, I want to throw the shout out to uh, the fire explorers and the Laverne Fire Department. They helped um, make a dream come true for local residents by hanging a hanging the American flag sure in memorance of her brother, um, a Woodland Hills resident. Um, her, her brother was killed in Vietnam. He never made it home. He was a medic and um, our explorers and the fire department went over and uh, hung the American flag in his memorance. It was a uh, it was a sight to see. It was very emotional. Um, 
it was something to be a part of and the community came out you know the the neighbors came out in the cola sack um, so it was it was really neat to to watch uh, grown men firemen tear up uh, you know there are local heroes but uh, they uh, I seen them they, they teared up so it was I want to thank the chief for allowing that to happen and uh, that's it thank you Alderman Jones I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight everything went uh, and I like the way the uh, the way the meeting went tonight and wish everyone would continue to uh, let's all be civil with each other and continue to work together Vice Mayor Brown it is um, mainly this I wanted to speak to the board in front of everyone I um, am happy to work with you guys on the budget there was just some things that I didn't want to compromise on this year and um, so I apologize that we have to have more meetings to discuss it but I do want you to know I'm, I'm willing and, and eager to to come to consensus that we can all, all get behind well first I want to uh, thank the bridge at Hickory Woods Chief Clark and I were out there as well as some employees and uh, we were surprised by many of our seniors who were out there for lunch. Um, they presented the city with a plaque recognizing the city of Laverne for all it does for its senior community. Um, and then we also had a, a few drawings done as well by one of their local artists and they had a, an art show. So if you haven't had a chance to get over there, be sure to check that out. I um, want to thank everyone who came out for the Greenway cleanup. That was absolutely amazing seeing so many people throughout the community. We had one gentleman who drove all the way from White House just to be here to help. And that was absolutely amazing. We had staff from maintenance, parks and rec, stormwater, engineering, just all over the city. It was absolutely amazing. So thank you for everyone who was involved with that. Um, as far as the budget, we'll move forward. We'll work on that and either... Um, It'll show up at next month or we'll have a special meeting and we will go from there. But in the meantime, I call this meeting adjourned. <laughs>